The Blood Moon Priestess wondered what good work she had done for the universe to reward her so. During one of her patrols, she had caught a small force of Lionar warriors and had set an army of wraithlings and gloom chasers upon them. The Silver Guard Knights immediately set up a shield wall, but they could not hope to hold off such a force forever. Still, after several relentless waves, the Lionar forces were showing no signs of fatigue and weren't being hindered by their wounds. The priestess couldn't help but wonder why, when a particularly dexterous wraithling managed to sneak in between two of the shields. She saw the answer. Behind the shields was Argion Hyman. Lionar, with me! The leader of the Lionar armies and a prize worthy of much praise to the Abyssian host. If she could take that head, she would be well on her way to a position of influence and power. She continued her assault with her forces, unleashing everything she could upon them. Within a few minutes, a gap appeared in the lines. Suspecting that a night had fallen, she ordered her tide of wraiths to flow into the gap, only for them to be pushed back, destroyed in a flurry of blade and fist. Through the gap pushed an arrow-shaped cluster of warriors rushing towards her position. In the center was Jaime, his blade slicing through her creatures with ease. To either side were several Lycian brawlers, their rapid strikes pummeling through dozens of raiders. To attack the horde head-on was madness, and the priestess suspected she would soon have a grand prize to present to her superiors. But her thoughts of glory soon turned to worry when she realized Hyman wasn't falling. Worse, he was laughing. A huge, booming belly laugh washed over the sound of the chittering hordes, almost silencing them. The Lysian brawlers also shared in his joy, laughing as claws and fangs cut into their arms, Hyman's presence apparently emboldening them, allowing them to ignore their wounds. The priestess had no urge to die that day and made move to leave, ordering her minions to keep the general busy. However, she was only in mid-turn when she felt herself frozen in place. Looking upon Jaime, she saw his open hand encased in a golden glow. Still smiling, he closed his hand and slammed it onto his chest. With the spell complete, the priestess flew, her body rushing towards the general. Her last mortal sight being his mad smile and a burning blade heading towards her. In the continent of Celadine lies the Lionar Kingdoms, a nation of noble knights and holy power. They fight with blade, shield, and light to destroy those who would dare try to face them. To be a warrior in the Lionar Kingdoms is to be a shield against the darkness. To hold your ground and not give one inch to those who you would call enemy. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this audio short story on the Lionar in the game Duelist. A great digital card game that if you don't know anything about, you should really check out. And if you're interested in a match and I'm around, my username is still Arvandis. If you like this bit of audio, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting, and I'll keep doing it. Not only for dudes, but other games with lore I like looking into, like Age of Sigmar. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time.